So, you might have already seen my lesson on the trick to finding the number halfway between two numbers. We can follow the same steps with decimal numbers. So, you probably already know which number is halfway between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, but listen carefully because we can use the same steps with any decimal numbers. So we find the difference, we subtract. So 0 0.7 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.2. Then we find half the difference, so that's 0 0.2 divided by 2. So we need to remember to copy up the decimal point to our answer. Then 0 divided by 2 is 0 and then 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then we add half the difference to our smallest number. So our smallest number is 0 0.5, and we found that half the difference is 0 0.1. So when we add them together, we get 0 0.6. So 0 0.6 is the number halfway between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. And we can see this on a number line. If we have 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, 0 0.6 is right in the middle. But now, which number is halfway between 5.2 and 5.3? So we find the difference then we find half of the difference, so that's our decimal point copied up into our answer. 0 divided by 2 is 0, and then we have 1 divided by 2, which is 0 remainder 1. So we have 0, and then for our remainder, we need to extend our decimal number with a 0, so that we can write our 1 remainder. So then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now we take our smallest number and we're adding half the difference. So we can write 0 in our empty place value column. We write the decimal point in our answer. Then we add as normal to get our answer 5.25. And this makes sense because we know that on a number line, between tenths, we have hundredths. So the number right in the middle must be 5.25. But now, what number is right in the middle of 0 0.52 and 0 0.55? We follow the same steps. Find the difference, then we need to find half of the difference, so there's our decimal point, and we have 0, 0, now 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 1, so we need to extend our dividend into the thousandths with a 0 on the end, then that's our 1 remainder, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So now, we just add 0 0.015 to our smallest number. So that's 0 0.52 plus 0 0.015. When we add those, we get our halfway number 0 0.535. Now, as the questions are getting more difficult, our number lines are getting more confusing. We have 0 0.52 here and 0 0.55 here. So the number right in the middle is here. That's 0 0.535 because it's five thousandths after 0 0.53. Now, what is halfway between 4 and 4.25? We find the difference. Now, we need to find half of the difference. So, 
we need to extend our dividend with a zero. So that's 0 0.125. Now we add half the difference to the smallest number. So 4.125 is right in the middle of 4 and 4.25. Now, the number lines are getting really confusing. There's 4, and there's 4.25, and this is right in the middle. It's 4.125, because if this is 4.1, then the arrow is pointing right in the middle of 4.12 and 4.13, so that's 4.125. It's hard to see this, so if we put two balls at the end of our number line and roll them towards the middle at the same speed, we can see that they hit each other here at 4.125. Now pause the video and see if you can find the number halfway between 2.57 and 4.93. We find the difference, then we find half of the difference, we add half the difference to the smallest number, so that gives us 3.75.